Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Well, today we're going to continue on our epic saltwater fish journey on the U.S. West DLC. And we're going to be going to location 19 to try to catch the epics on that location. And then after that, we'll be going to location 20. And then I'll be done with the U.S. West epics. So hopefully I can get through these pretty quickly. Well, let's get started. Let's head to location number 19. All right, so here we are on location 19. Possibly see a whale today. If you haven't seen the whale here, it's pretty cool, pretty epic. Speaking of epic, let's go look at our epic fish. All right, so on this location, we're gonna be catching the Pacific halibut. I will probably use the crawfish on this one because uh, we also have the crawfish for the guitar fish. Um, so I can go after both of those. They're both... Depth is going to be bottom or middle. So they're both going to be on the bottom. So the crawfish is going to go after both of those. And then for the monkey face, pickleback. That one I'm going to use the spinner. And I'm going to just reel it fast across the top of the water. Because this one is on the top depth. So we got the middle and the top depth on that one. So that one, uh, my technique with those is just use the spinner. Bring it across the top of the water as fast as possible. They're going to come up and grab it. So there's my techniques for those. Alright, so let's get started. So I guess I'm going to go after these two first. So I'm going to switch over to the crawfish. So let's switch over to float fishing. I've already got my crawfish on there. I've got... Rod A, I've got real A, and now we can use the chubby bobber. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the, just the pencil bobber for now. You can, you can use the bigger bobber and let it drift across, and that's a lot of, one of the techniques I use when I'm just fishing just casually, uh, not trying to hunt for a fish. I'll just use the big bobber and just let it drift across. I'll cast it out 300, 200, and 100 yards away and then let it drift. So, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my line down to the bottom by pressing my thumbstick down. And that's going to be able to catch us the bottom fish and also the middle fish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast over here to the left and I'm just going to work my way across. First, let's look for bubbles. So there's some bubbles right there. Let's cast towards those bubbles. Oops. And let's bring it into the bubbles. Right there. Wait for a second. See if it grabs anything. Oh, we did get something on there. It was kind of slow. So I doubt it's one of the epics, but it could be. Usually if it's an epic, it's going to grab it right away. We'll see what's on the line. Swimming fast usually a good sign when you're kept catching epics. Now the halibut will never jump. It'll swim around, but it will never jump. So the fact that this one hasn't jumped is also a good sign that it could be the halibut. That would be pretty cool to catch it right away. It's taken a minute to get it in. <laughs> he is a big fish. Too bad there's no way to determine weight when you're reeling it in. Like, it'd be harder to reel in. That'd be cool if they came up with controllers like that where you could feel weight when you're trying to reel them in. Maybe in the future. 
And it's taking me a while to bring in, that's for sure. Guessing we probably have it on the line. <laughs> as long as it's taking. And if so, that would be pretty awesome. First cast. I think it was location 17 I got it on a first cast. Oh, we missed the whale. Can't see it down there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Pacific halibut, my personal best. Awesome. He's a big guy. Go ahead and release that one. All right, well, we got one down and two to go. So the guitar fish is bottom and middle. So I can leave it on the bottom or I could bring it up to the middle, either way works. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. Actually, I'll, I'll leave it on the bottom for now. So, all right, so I've cast it out here for the bubbles. I don't see any more bubbles, some swirls. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way across. There we go, got a quick red line. And as you can see, I did switch to the chubby bobber. Um, the pencil bobber was just hitting the water and staying still. I like doing the, the round and the chubby bobber just for the fact that you can tell when the line has hit the bottom of the water because they'll go underwater and then they'll pop up. And when they pop up, that means the line has reached the bottom depth. And then if it doesn't turn red right away, you can go ahead and just quick retrieve it back in. Hey, there we go. There's the guitar fish. You can quick retrieve it back in just by pulling your thumbstick back. So, that's why I like using the, the chubby bobber. Plus, you can just let it drift across the water. Now, if I was, wasn't recording, I might use the, the round bobber. Just for the fact that it doesn't move at all and I can still see it pop up from the bottom. There we go, we got two of them. Nice, he's just a little guy. Shovel nose guitar fish. All right, let you go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to lure fishing. And I'm gonna use my Spinner, actually I passed it up. Spinner A, there we go. Of course I'm using real A and rod A so I can get the distance. And this guy, he's gonna be a, a medium sized fish as well, so he's not gonna be a very big one. So it's not gonna be a giant splash or anything. Like I said with this one, I'm just gonna cast out and quickly re reel it back in just across the top of the water. Right now I'm looking around to see if I see any swirls. Just want to leave swirls on the top, but I don't see any. So I'm going to do a few casts here. And since I've already caught two epics on this one reset, I might not catch the third one. Good chance that I won't. Um, so I'll go ahead and cast a few times and bring you back once I got something on here. I'm guessing the swirl is going to ignore it. Oh, no, it's coming up to it. Bring this guy in. See what we got on the line. It was a nice small splash. And a shark. Yeah, that was probably my epic. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I thought maybe I could get through a location without catching a shark, but apparently not. I've been going after this epic for over an hour now. Caught the first two within 10 minutes. 
then this monkey face is taking forever. I've used spinner, reeling it on the top really fast, reeling it between mid depth and the top really slow. That didn't work. That's what I did for about the first hour. And now I've recently switched to using the krill. So I do a few casts with the krill. I got my krill, the line short, so I'm fishing on the top. So he'll come down from the mid depth. He'll come up to the top and grab my krill. So, oh, missed that snap. Oh well. No biggie, you don't have to hit all your snaps. As long as you're getting your directional poles. Which I am. Missed another snap. Oh, got them all mad now. Rage. It might take me a minute or two longer to bring in. I usually bring these guys in pretty quickly, but chit-chatting and uh, missing all my snaps. <laughs> there we go. I got that snap. Now we'll finish bringing this guy in here. Play a few more casts and we'll catch that monkey fish. Monkey face fish. Quick snap. Whale breach over there. All kinds of excitement going on right now. Got it. Just a few more inches here. This water's pretty murky. You can't even really see him. Big guy. What nose? Six gill shark. Watch him swim away. Bye bye, fish. <laughs> All right. Let's do a few more casts and see if we can catch this monkey fish. Make sure I still got krill on there. I do. And here we go. Need a new need a new rod. Go to the store. Buy a new rod. Guessing my reel is gonna break on my next cast. They usually break in pairs. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll catch a few fish and bring my money back up. Here's a fast red line on a quick retrieve on a spinner. The whale caught my attention. <laughs> see what we got here. Hey, there we go, the monkey face. Finally. Yep, and it was just a splash. It didn't take off on me. So 
Well, there we go. So what I had done is I had used the spinner reeling across the top really fast, like I was doing here. That wasn't working. I did that for probably about an hour. Um, I switched to the krill, fished with the krill for about an hour, and switched back to my spinner. And with my spinner, I was actually doing the same technique where I would just cast out, reel across the top really fast. And uh, yeah, there it goes. We caught him. Awesome. All right, well, I got to keep them because I got I had to buy a new fishing pole and a new reel. I got some money to save up for. So there you go. So there was location 19. Uh, hopefully this helps you catch those epics that you're after. Like I said, that monkey face took me quite a while. Um, but the technique, I was trying different techniques the first time with the spinner. So I should have just kept with my casting out reeling fast across the top of the water because that's what ended up catching it for me. So hopefully this helps you. And if it did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.